if I was to cut through this right here, it might bend when I push down. But if I have my finger on the inside and I push down, it doesn't have as much of a tendency to bend. That'll help you with a lot of headaches later. So let's say you're carving this and you accidentally carve a little too much, but you can rough this up a little. And then you can take some clay and you can squeeze it in and try and reshape it. So let's say you're working on a lattice piece and you just cut a little too much off. That's how you can do it and then you can cut off any excess. I'm cleaning my needle tool off on the sponge and then I'm just going around each of these areas and taking off the little bits and pieces that are still kind of stuck. The other thing I did was I took a sponge on the inside and I kind of wiped down a lot of the pieces that were sticking out. So when you wrap your piece to dry, you really want to make sure that there's as little air inside of your bag as possible because when you have cuts like this, you really want to make sure that they dry very, very, very slowly. So I basically put plastic in between. If you had like a cylinder, you'd want to put the plastic inside the cylinder and then wrapped around the sides and the bottom. So then you would just kind of twist off the end of it and put it against something so that there is some air in there just to dry it but there's not so much that it's going to dry really fast when it dries fast that's when it breaks so just be very careful